Hello. Hello. Salvadoran sisters all over the world. Hi. I am Sister Gosia. Uh, I am Franciscan missionary of Mary. I've been there in this congregation more than 30 years already. A very missionary and very international congregation. Uh, originally I am from Poland, uh, but now I am sent to England, so I am living in London. Over to you. Thank you. And I'm uh, Mathieu. Um, I'm a Frenchman, I live in France with my family, um, I have five children, I have one grandchild now, um, and I'm, uh, I've been doing this work of facilitation for about 20 years now, uh, 15 years with religious congregations. Um, so I, um, I got to know the Salvatorian Sisters, um, I think it was during Covid, 2020, maybe 2021, um, in connection with the process in Europe that I started to accompany. Gradually, um, I've shared life with, with the Salvatorian sisters, uh, and it's been more and more an experience of, uh, of joy, of passion, of, uh, of um, going quite deep in what we're exploring, and also being very uh, joyful and funny. So, uh, in my experience, I met already in my uh, childhood Salvatorian fathers in Poland. But strangely enough, I did not know sisters. Uh, <laughs> so, I came to know Salvatorian sisters only last year when I was invited to join the team of the preparation and facilitation of the chapter. My impression, I felt very quickly at home. It is because maybe of your charism that is, uh, you know, to make known Jesus to the world. This desire of uh, uh, missionary spirit that reminds me my own uh, vocation. So, yes, I felt home, I experienced a beautiful uh, intercultural team, leadership team, that is ready to op it's open, is ready to search together, to welcome something different. And you have a beautiful theme, walking together, rekindling the gift of the Spirit among us. So that to proclaim the gospel and inflame all. The, the chapter process has been designed as a, a collective discernment process. So we're going to uh, welcome you when you arrive and we're going to invite you to, uh, uh, to form this group, to form the chapter and, and, and to form a, a discerning body. And gradually you'll be moving from being a delegate or a provincial from your unit to really being part of one discerning body that's really concerned with the whole congregation. And um, whilst you may be very um, uh, keen and ready to find solutions for the, you know, what could be done for the next six years, we're going to slow down and just invite you to, first of all, get a sense of what's going on for the whole body. You know, you know your part, but you know, you'll be moving to understanding and, and getting a sense of the whole body. And then once that sense of the whole body and what's going on and the key issues, once you have developed that, there'll be some sort of mini retreat where you'll be in a dialogue with God, um, listening to what God is inviting you as a congregation, uh, what He's inviting you to for the next uh, few years. And once you've connected to that, then you'll see, okay, well, if this is what God is saying to us, what does that mean more concretely for our congregation? So you'll be moving towards solution, but, you know, after having done, first of all, those two stages. So that, that'll be, I think, the big, the big difference 
uh, for you. I've experienced that it's the big difference for most people. Usually we come in and we're quite keen to get into solutions straight away, but um, you'll be invited to slow down and do a lot of discerning through listening, through a lot of listening. Maybe a little bit of the background. Uh, uh, in 2015, in my congregation, I was in the leadership role in the province, and uh, we were invited by our leadership general team to, uh, to journey with Matthew. In the process that we called at that time a process of restructuring, Matthew came to our life and he just um, helped us to understand that the process is much bigger than just changing of the structures. It becomes for us a transformation process. Uh, and um, this journey with him changed in my understanding of uh, of the journey, many things, many shifts in my life, personal life, uh, in my leadership role. Um, so what is special about that? I would say today, two words. Listening, generative listening and generative speaking. It seems so obvious and so simple and yet very challenging process of learning how to listen together and how to speak in a generative way. Okay, so how to prepare, I would say um, uh, it's both being very much in touch with what happened in, in the preparation process in your unit and the, the chapter and what came through. Um, so being very connected with what the rest of the sisters in your unit, in your province, have been saying, and, and, the, and the mood, and the concerns, and the hopes. So being connected with that, and at the same time being prepared to just bring it to the chapter and leave it, leave it there as a gift, not hold on to it like it is something you need to defend, but just bring it as one piece of the puzzle for the collective discernment. Uh, I have a dream. The dream is that uh, uh, we create in us a space to welcome somebody else, to welcome another, to move from me, my unit, my province, my sisters, to us uh, as a body. So for that is uh, what is important, yes to be attentive, to listen, to be open, uh, to create this space in me to welcome another.